Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video. It's been a long time to see you. My name is Yana if you don't already know. Based on the title of this video, you probably already know what we're going to be talking about today. But first, I have a question for you guys. How many times have you promised yourself that you're going to begin your health and fitness journey at the beginning of the year? And how many times have you watched that promise slowly disappear one week in, two weeks in, and one month in? If you're sitting here thinking, well, that's me, then I have a couple of tips and tricks for you to kickstart your health and fitness journey this year on a proper note. Tips that will help you stay true to that promise and tips that will help you build up that consistency over time. My first tip is to start off small. The reason why most people seem to fail is because they set themselves up to failure immediately. You cannot expect to work out six times a week at the beginning of your fitness journey and eat extremely amazing, have a really good eating pattern, sleeping pattern, and being absolutely perfect. First of all, no one is perfect in this journey. I encourage you to start off small. Instead of telling yourself, I'm going to be working out six times a week, start off two times a week, three times a week. You cannot expect to change your lifestyle completely in just one day and be able to stick to it for a long period of time. Your body is not used to suddenly be working out six times a week. So why start off with that big of a goal in the first place? The journey should be enjoyable, progressive and long lasting, not draining and more complicated than it in reality should be. My second tip is to start your day off with a good breakfast. Now, what I mean by a good breakfast is a balanced breakfast, some carbs, protein, and fats all in one meal. A well-balanced breakfast that will set the tone and the mood for the rest of the day. If you start the morning on a good note, you're more likely to continue that pattern throughout the rest of the day and throughout your journey. You can easily find thousands of recipes online, on Instagram, on Pinterest, on TikTok, anywhere. And I have some recipes on my Instagram too, if you'd like to check them out. Remember, a well-balanced diet does not have to be restrictive and boring. Moving on to my third tip is pick a time that works for you. That being said, even if you see thousands of fitness influencers waking up at 5 a.m. and doing their workout, that does not mean that you have to wake up at 5 a.m. to do the same thing. What works for them may not work for you and that is totally and completely okay. That being said, if you know that you cannot wake up at 5 a.m., if you know that that doesn't work for you, don't do it. Like I said before, that is only setting yourself up to failure immediately. However, if you know that you may not have time at the end of the day to work out or in the middle of the day, what you can do is wake up 30 to 40 minutes earlier. So if you know that you usually wake up at 8 a.m., let's say, maybe you can start waking up at 7.40 by tomorrow and then 7.30 by the next couple of days and maybe 7 in two weeks time. You know yourself best, so you know what time works for you and what time you're more productive and have more energy in order to work out. I myself, I'm a morning person. I wake up at 5 a.m. and I like to work out really early. But that wasn't me a couple of months ago and a year ago. I was a morning person, but I didn't wake up at 5 a.m. However, I made the commitment. I knew I had the time to work out in the morning and I had the energy and I liked to work out in the morning, but because of my school schedule, I had to wake up earlier in the morning in order to get my workout done. So that is what I did. I committed to a time, I stuck with it, and now it's a habit. My fourth tip is to enjoy what you're doing. Make sure you enjoy the type of training you're doing. Make sure you include the foods that you enjoy, but making them more balanced and healthier. Like I said, eating does not have to be restricted, yet it also doesn't have to be boring and also doesn't have to take the little pleasure away that you have when eating. You need to figure out what type of training you enjoy, from cardio to crossfit to weightlifting to swimming to gymnastics to yoga to cycling to anything. Figure out what you like and what works for you. If your favorite influencer does weightlifting and you don't enjoy weightlifting, don't do it. One, you're not going to see the same results if you do the same type of training as your favorite influencer. Same goes with eating. You don't get the same results if you eat the same as your favorite influencer. You have completely different bodies, 
they don't work the same. It is absolutely crucial to enjoy the type of training you do because if you don't and you force yourself to do a training you don't like, you're going to make it more difficult for yourself than it should be in reality. If you pick a type of training you're not going to enjoy, you're going to be dragging that workout and you're going to find yourself slowly sliding out of your fitness journey and starting from zero which we don't want, of course. That being said, you're going to have moments where you're not gonna feel motivated, but finding a training style that fits your liking is gonna make it easier to form a habit and a dedication, which is fundamental in a fitness journey. My fifth tip is everything in moderation. You can still eat cookies and eat cakes and, and have a pizza and go out and get drinks with friends because starting a health and fitness journey does not mean that you have to cut out your guilty pleasures. You can still enjoy life. Just like having too much chocolate, too much fruit can also be bad for you. So everything in moderation is absolutely perfect and something we want in a health and fitness journey. So if you crave a square of chocolate, eat that square of chocolate because if you're going to restrict yourself from it and you allow yourself to finally eat it, you are just going to end up binging on it and going to feel worse afterward. Your health and fitness journey is not supposed to feel like a chore and something you feel the need to drag on. It's a formation of a new lifestyle and a new habit. My sixth tip is educate yourself the right way. There's so much misinformation out of the internet and it can confuse you a little at the beginning of your fitness journey if you're not quite sure what to do and you don't have much knowledge about food and exercise. So listening to professionals that know what they're talking about is absolutely key. Fat diets, low sugar diets, keto diets, working out seven times a week, those are all things that do not work and are only going to drain you in your health and fitness journey. Too much working out can lead to burnout and restricting yourself from food can lead to eating disorders, which we don't want to have in 2022. We want to make a difference and we want to make it right. This being said, a couple of influencers that I personally find absolutely informative and amazing are Natasha Oshan, Stephanie Buttermore, Abby Sharp, Jeff Nippard, Lucy Davis, Ben Holden, and Chrissy Chikla. You can find them on YouTube and on Instagram, and they are going to make your health and fitness journey easier and much more comfort. Because the beginning of your fitness journey can be very scary, but it doesn't have to be. So I'm just trying to help you out here and all of these influencers are trying to help you out too. The last tip, and might I say best tip that I have for you is increasing your needs, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. That means walking around, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, cleaning your house, dancing around, fiddling around, anything. All those things are considered neat. My favorite neat activity is walking around getting your steps in. It is the best way to increase your movement and your activity. And if your goal is to lose weight, well, increase your step count and that is going to make life easier too. You can get outside and maybe walk with a family member or a friend and catch up. It doesn't have to be difficult exercise all of the time. It can be as simple as just walking around 30 minutes or an hour a day. It doesn't have to be difficult and it doesn't have to be complicated. All these tips wrapped up they're going to help you build consistency in your journey. Another tip that I have is just to focus on creating a healthy and balanced lifestyle in general. If you wanna lose fat, then sure, that is a goal of yours. And it is a simple thing to achieve. It doesn't have to be draining, but focusing on just creating a healthy lifestyle and a balanced lifestyle, it's just gonna make things much easier instead of focusing on, I wanna lose X amount of pounds. I hope these tips help you guys and I hope that this year you can make a change in a much healthier way. So with all this being said, if you like this video, make sure to tell me in the comments and I hope to see you guys soon again. Bye!